Hello and welcome to your 25 minute morning yoga flow. Today we are going to get started right away by standing at the top of the mat, bringing the feet hip width distance apart. Reach your left arm up overhead, bend the elbow and place your hand in between your shoulder blades. Reach your right arm up and place your right palm on top of your left elbow. From here, bring a slight bend to the right knee and press the top of your right foot against the floor. So you're getting a gentle stretch in the left shoulder and the top of the right foot and the ankle. Grounding down through the left foot and then bringing awareness to your breath. Now switching sides, reaching the right arm up overhead, bending the elbow, placing the hand in between the shoulder blades, left arm reaches up, placing your left hand on top of your right elbow, bending into the left knee to place the top of your left foot against the floor. And then gently releasing, interlace the fingers behind your back, bringing the hands into a fist. Draw the fist down towards the ground. Open up the chest as you straighten out the elbows. As you inhale, lift up high on the toes, lifting the heels up off of the mat. And then as you exhale, sink the heels back down. Start to hinge from the hips, bend the knees forward folds, keeping the fingers interlaced. Drawing the crown of the head down towards the mat. Taking one breath here. And then gently release the fingers to the mat. Start to sway from side to side. Let the head and neck hang completely heavy here. And then find stillness, inhale to halfway lift, and then exhale, fold forward. Good. Two more times, inhale, halfway lift, maybe the hands come to the shins, flat back, and then exhale, fold. Once more here on your own. This time as you release your hands to the mat, step both feet back for plank pose making sure the wrists are underneath the shoulders and just start to rock from side to side, maybe finding small circles, warming up the wrists and the ankles, keeping the spine nice and tall. So a straight line from the crown of your head all the way down towards your heels. Keep your core engaged by drawing the low belly up towards your spine and then lift the hips up high, finding downward facing dog. Taking a few breaths here, really grounding down through the palms, spreading all 10 fingers nice and wide. You can have a slight bend in the knees here, and it's okay if your heels don't quite reach the floor. Take one more breath. And then inhale high on the toes, come down on the knees for a tabletop. Untuck the toes, place the wrists underneath the shoulders and start to move through a few rounds of cats and cows here at your own pace. As you inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze. And then as you exhale, push the floor away with your hands and round through the spine. Take one more round here. Coming back to tabletop, neutral spine, tuck your toes and sink your hips down over your heels. So coming into a toe squat, 
keeping the spine nice and tall. If this is too much for your toes or your ankles, feel free to untuck the toes and just come into a seated position. We'll move into some neck stretches. So gently drop the right ear towards the right shoulder, feeling a stretch along the left side of your neck. You can release your left fingertips to the left side of your body. You can also reach the right arm up, placing your fingertips on the left side of your head for a deeper stretch. Take one last breath here. And then gently release the right fingertips down and switch sides, drawing the left ear towards the left shoulder, using your left hand if you'd like to deepen the stretch, opening up the right side of the neck. Take one more breath and then release, placing both hands in your lap. Start to roll the neck in one direction and then move in the opposite direction. Just rolling out any tension, any tightness. Bring your head back to center, plant your hands down, untuck the toes, and just tap the tops of the feet against the mats. From here, flip your wrists so that your fingers are facing your knees. Start to move through a few more rounds of cats and cows here. Getting a stretch in the fingers and the wrists. Maybe you feel this in your forearms as well. Just continue to move with your breath, bringing awareness to the different sensations. And then flip the palms so the fingers are facing forward, tuck the toes, lift the kneecaps, and then lift the hips for downward facing dog. Take a breath here. Keep lifting the hips up high. Ground down through the feet and just take a moment to notice the difference here in this downward facing dog versus the first one we did earlier. Maybe you feel more openness, more space in the wrists, the arms, the feet. Now grounding down through the left foot, reach the right leg up for a three-legged dog, keeping the hips square and the weight even between both hands. Inhale, and then exhale, step the right foot forward, drop the back knee, grounding down through the right foot as you inhale to reach both arms up. Exhale, cactus the arms, finding a slight back bend. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, plant the hands down, framing the front foot, half splits as you straighten out the right leg. Fold over the right leg, drawing your forehead towards your knee. Imagine that you're drawing the right hip back slightly and the left hip forward to keep the hips square. Now bend into the right knee. Inhale, reach the arms back up. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, plant the hands down, half splits, folding over the right leg once more. Breathe here. Option to stay here or you can come into a twist, so keeping the left hand planted down as you reach the right arm up. Shoulders are stacked, hips are still square. Slowly place the right hand down, bending into the right knee, tucking the back toes, lifting the back knee, reaching yourself all the way up for high lunge. Arms are lifted and extended up, drawing your low belly in towards your spine. Feel the stretch in the left hip flexor. Good, now turn to face the long ways of your mat. Bring your hands to heart center, coming into Skandasana side lunge. So bending into the left knee, you're coming onto the right heel, 
feeling a stretch in the back of that right hamstring. Keep the hips lifted up high. One more breath here. And then using your core and leg strength, turn to the front of the mat, coming into a high lunge twist. So the left hand plants down as you reach the right arm up. Right knee stays bent. Good. Inhale back up to high lunge. Hips facing the front of the mat. Exhale, warrior two, opening your hips long ways of the mat, arms extended, bending into the right knee, back leg is strong, shift your body weight forward, flip the front palm, reverse warrior, left hand comes to the back leg, reaching your right arm up and over, feel the extension and the length in the right side body, breathing space in between the ribs. Triangle pose, straightening out the right leg, right hand comes to the right shin or the mat, reach your left arm up, shoulders stacked. Plant both hands down as you walk towards the back of the mat, planting the hands down, framing the front foot. Step the left foot back, keeping the left leg lifted for one-legged plank. Inhale, shift your body weight forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath here. Now grounding into your right leg, lift the left leg up for three-legged dog, keeping the hips squared. Inhale. Exhale, step the left foot forward at the top of the mat. Drop the right knee down. Reach the arms up, grounding down through the left leg. Low lunge. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, plant your hands down, half split, straightening out the left leg. Folding over the left leg, drawing your forehead towards your knee and rounding through the upper back. Stepping the left foot down, bending into the left knee, reach both arms up. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale. And exhale, plant the hands down half splits. Try to draw that left hip back slightly and the right hip forward to keep the hips square. Come back to your breath. Now choosing to stay here or finding a twist as you place your right hand down and reach your left arm up. Slowly place the left hand down, bend into your left foot, bending the left knee, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, and then reach the arms up for high lunge, Anjane Asana, sinking the hips down towards the ground, feeling the stretch in the right hip flexor, reaching the fingertips up towards the sky, inhale. And then exhale, bring hands to heart center, turn to face the long ways of your mat, bend into the right knee for skandasana, side lunge. So left leg is straight, maybe you're on your left heel. Keep lifting the hips up high. One more breath here. Good. Lifting the hips up high. Coming into high lunge twist, so bending into that left knee, right hand comes down as you reach your left arm up. Inhale, using your leg strength, reach the arms back up for high lunge, hips facing the front of the mat. As you exhale, find warrior two, opening up the hips, extending the arms, 
Relaxing the shoulders away from the ears, so strong through the lower body and soft through the upper body. Shift your body weight forward, flip that left palm, reverse warrior, right hand to the back leg. Breathe space alongside that left body. Triangle pose, straightening out the left leg, left hand to your shin or the mat, stacking the shoulders and reaching the right arm up. Plant the right hand down and walk the hand so that you're facing the long ways of your mat, coming into a wide-legged fold, toes in, heels out. Now inhale to halfway lift, coming up high on the fingertips, finding a flat spine. And then exhale, release. Two more times, just like that. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale. And exhale, finding a soft bend in the knees, coming into a twist as you plant the right hand down and reach the left arm up. Stacking the shoulders or option to find a bind here. Take one last breath. And then gently release, placing your left hand down and reaching your right arm up. Again, option to find a bind. And then gently release. With both hands down on the mat, just hang out here in your wide-legged forward fold. You can sway from side to side. Shake the head no, nod the head yes. Just letting go of any tension in the upper body. Make sure the weight is even in both feet. And then walk your hands towards the front of your mats. Step the right foot back to come into a one-legged plank. Shift your body weight forward as you bend the elbows chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, and hold here in your back bend. From here, lift the right leg up, bend the right knee, and place the right foot down to the left side as you inhale, lift the hips up for a wild thing. Stay strong through the core. Keep pressing up out of the left hand. Good, right hand comes down. Bring that right leg back, coming into our upward facing dog. Same thing, opposite side. Lift the left leg up, swinging the left foot towards the right side of the mat, and then lift the hips for wild thing. Take one breath here as you keep lifting the hips up. And then plant the left hand down, come to plank pose and then downward facing dog, lifting the hips up high, sink the heels down towards the ground. Take a few breaths here. Now bring your gaze to the top of the mat in between the hands. See if you can bend the knees and cross your ankles as you step to the top of the mat, coming onto the glutes. And then lifting your feet up to come into boat pose, Navasana. Extend the arms alongside the legs. You can keep the knees bent here. Try to maintain a nice tall spine as you keep the chest open. We'll hold here for five, four, keep your core engaged, three, two, and one, bring your hands to your chest. Bring the soles of the feet together as you come into a butterfly pose. Open up the knees. Inhale to find a nice tall spine. And then as you exhale, hinge from the hips and come into a forward fold. 
So you should feel the stretch in both of the hips. You should feel the shoulder blades draw apart as you round through the upper back. And just go as far as is comfortable for you here. Taking one more breath here. And then slowly lifting yourself up. Place your hands underneath the knees to draw the knees together. And then gently lowering all the way down to the ground, bringing your spine to your mat. Hug the knees into the chest. Bring your forehead to your knees. And then gently release your head back to the mat. Extend the arms alongside your body with the palms face down. Press into the palms to lift the hips and slide your hips over towards the right side of the mat. From here, drop your knees over towards the left side, coming into a supine twist. Left hand can rest on top of the right knee. Right arm can extend out into a cactus shape. You can close your eyes here, breathing into this twist. And slowly lift your knees back to center, bringing your hips back to center. Extend the arms alongside your body. Again, press into the palms, lift the hips up. Shift your hips over towards the left side this time and then drop the knees over towards the right. Right hand on top of the left knee. Left arm is extended. Take one last breath here. Bring your head back to center. Draw the knees back into the chest. And slowly rock yourself up to come into a seated position. Just go ahead and find a comfortable seat here to end our class. You can place your hands on top of the knees or gently in your lap. Close the eyes down. Soften the face. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Allow your breath to come back to a natural rhythm. And just bringing your awareness back to your physical body. Doing a quick scan from the toes, up the ankles, the shins. Notice the knees. Notice the thighs, the back of the legs, the hips, the glutes. Notice your low back, your middle back, your upper back. Feel your shoulders soften even more. Feel your arms become heavy. Feel the tips of your fingers. Feel the belly expand and contract. 
Feel the rise and fall of the chest as you breathe. Notice the temperature of your skin and feel the clothes against your body. Soften your cheeks, your jaw, and the space between your eyebrows, your forehead, the crown of your head, and the back of your neck. Feel your body relaxed as a whole, from the toes all the way up to the crown of your head. Take a few more breaths here on your own, perhaps setting an intention for the day ahead of you. When you're ready, bring your hands to heart center, taking a moment to find gratitude for showing up on your mat today. Together, we'll bow our heads. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for this morning yoga flow. I hope that you feel amazing in your body and mind and I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. See you next time.